Hello, my name is Joyce Gibb, and I have some really interesting articles about vitamin D. The first one, and as we know, vitamin D turns on and off a thousand genes in our body. And one of those is muscle strength in athletes. So they did, they did a study, this was back in um, a couple years ago, but the effects of vitamin D supplementation and strength in athletes. They used three databases, PubMed, Medline, Scopus, and um, they found like five trials about vitamin D. Um, one was a controlled trial, one was a randomized controlled trial. And they found that the dose of vitamin D that they ranged when they redid this, when they looked at the studies, was between 600 IUs to 5,000 IUs or international units. And vitamin D2, well, the trials lasted four weeks to six months. But D2, which is the, um, some, the inactive form, D2 is the inactive form, but it was ineffective at impacting muscle strength um, in both studies. In contrast, they found that D3, it's the body-ready form, basically, was shown to have a positive impact on muscle strength. In two of the studies, the strength outcome were significantly improved over after supplementation. The other two studies administering D3, um, the trends were for improved muscle strength. And what percent um, strength improvement was there? Anywhere from 1.37 to almost 19% additional muscle strength. So athletes out there, if you're going to supplement with vitamin D, make sure you use D3. The second part of uh, vitamin D I wanted to talk about is with patients with cystic fibrosis. And if you haven't, if you don't know what cystic fibrosis is, basically it's um, a pancreatic disorder, it's a genetic inherited disorder where the um, Patients end up having severe lung disease. They get lung infections a lot. They have a lot of fat in their stool. They get um, pancreatic enzymes to help break that fat down. But it really trends to having poor outcome, you know, lung outcome. And a lot of these patients have to get uh, lung transplants. This usually happens at a lung age. And um, I used to work in a cystic fibrosis center in Columbus, Ohio. And um, the average age when I started there was in the 30s, but now people are living into their 50s just with better outcomes. But this study was done and showed that vitamin D, um, oral doses of vitamin D demonstrated that these patients had less lung infections, had better outcomes, and they also had um, their lung function improved with good supplementation of vitamin D. And the authors of this study found that a large randomized clinical um, studies needed to evaluate the role um, as an adjunct of therapy uh, with vitamin D in cystic fibrosis patients. Thanks for watching. If this information was helpful, hit that thumbs up button down below. If you want more videos like this, hit the subscribe button down below, then ring the bell next to it. Also, if you know other people that you would want to share this link with, please do so because I would love to help them on their journey to good health.